But I really, uh, I really like the idea of swear pants because uh, I really like swearing. Uh, but I've been troubled by swearing lately because I think a lot of our go-to swear words are just sort of intrinsically sexist. Uh, so I've been trying to say asshole as much as humanly possible because asshole is gender neutral. <laughs> we all have butts. And ass is like the black pants of the swearing world. It goes with absolutely anything. <laughs> Smart ass, dumb ass, old ass, new ass, borrowed ass, blue ass. Ass will go with absolutely anything. But even some insults that contain ass, I have a problem with. Uh, I have never been a fan of kiss my ass. It has always seemed like a very odd thing to say. I don't like you. I find you untrustworthy. So I'm going to remove my pants, <laughs> expose the most vulnerable, sensitive parts of my body, and put them near your teeth. <laughs> that will show you, won't it? Uh, I, I'm, I'm also concerned about douchebag, because I think a lot of the douchebags that say douchebag don't actually know what a douchebag is. <laughs> so they're basically saying, you know what you are? I think you're a hygiene device. <laughs> there might be a tube. I, I'm going to look you up on Wikipedia. <laughs> so I, I did actually look up douchebags on Wikipedia, and I learned a lot. Uh, <laughs> and as always, when you start reading Wikipedia, I got interested in the related reading, so I started reading about bidets. <laughs> bidets are a great untapped resource in swearing potential. Wikipedia told me that uh, bidet is actually a French word that originally meant pony. <laughs> How great of a swear word is that to walk up to someone and say, you are a bidet. You are a French toilet pony. <laughs> that is awesome. It, uh, bidet works great with son of a. So you can just say son of a bidet. Uh, but you can even get rid of the, the gender bias of son of a and switch it up. You know, you could say son of a bidet, but you could say like daughter of a toilet or my favorite, you child of a butt. <laughs> I get so much joy from saying that. In fact, on the count of three, will you all turn to your neighbor and say, you child of a butt, on the count of three. One, two, three. I feel like I am the priest in the church of immaturity. Very good, my children of butts. Very good. Very well done. Uh, I think we can also just be like more creative in bizarre in our insults, in our swears. Uh, when I was in seventh grade, there was this one kid that I kept fighting with. And one day, I just I strapped on my swear pants. And, and I called him something stupid like a shit tool. And... And he said, oh yeah? Well, your mom lives in a Doritos bag. <laughs> to this day, I have no idea what that means, but I remember it. Your mom lives in a Doritos bag. It's like, it's creative, and it's kind of funny, but it's also sort of sad. It's like being insulted by a Wes Anderson film. It's, it's, it's kind of beautiful. Uh, and I, I think we can also just, we can just be inventive in, in get rid of all of the, the sort of gender negative, uh, in orientation negative swear words, and just make up a bunch of new swear words, because it's not that hard. You need two things for a good swear word. It needs to sound like visceral and good coming out of your mouth, and it needs to feel just like a little forbidden, like you shouldn't say it in front of your parents. So I came up with just a bunch of really nasty sounding nonsense words, and I called my mom. <laughs> and I listed them until my mom said, oh, geez. <laughs> and I knew that when my mom said, Ah, oh, geez, I had a good one. <laughs> and the good one was crumb sucker. <laughs> one who sucks crumbs. 
I have no idea what it means, but it sounds really nasty. So my children of butts, please <laughs> go out there and just start calling anyone you want a crumb sucker. And if some French toilet pony makes fun of you, just tell them to shut up because their dad lives in Wes Anderson's Doritos bag. <laughs> Fucking crumb suckers.